In today's video, we'll be taking a look at Bass LaShawn for the Black Series 6-inch line, a figure I've been eagerly anticipating for a while now. Never thought we'd get Bass LaShawn in the Black Series collection at all. Uh, we were fortunate enough to just have a TBC action figure of her, which I do have reviewed on the channel, if you want to check that out. And it's finally here. I just got her in the mail two days ago at this point. I haven't opened her yet. I figure I wanted to save this as like an unboxing and review video. And I haven't done it on the channel before, so I think this would be a good opportunity to do that. And it's a perfect action figure for it. Uh, what else can I say about this? So I <laughs> I had Basila on pre-order through Entertainment Earth for a while. And I decided, yeah, you know what? She'll be easy to find elsewhere. And this was several months ago when Black Series action figures were usually going on clearance or significantly less than what uh, the retail price was. So I thought, eh, you know what, I'll hold off on Bastel and then I'll find her at retail for probably under $20. Uh, so far that has not been the case for her and Malik. So I did not have a order in through Entertainment Earth at all and then the only way I could really get her now is uh, through eBay. Seems like between her and Malik, they've been uh, more on the difficult side to acquire compared to a lot of the Black Series figures. I do not have Malik yet, but I do plan on getting him soon. I'm just looking for a good deal on eBay for him. Um, unfortunately, it seems like about the lowest price I can find between Bastila and Malik is like $33 each. $33 each. Uh, which is, I mean, for the two characters, they're both very important characters to me. Some of my favorite characters in Star Wars, so I don't really mind paying the price for them. Uh, but that is a little much for a Black Series action figure. And then if I got them both together, that'd be probably $70 after the shipping and taxes and everything. So a little much. Uh, so here's the package here. Nice image of Basila. Uh, I will say, I think she looks a little more on the animated side, more than a realistic interpretation. Uh, in fact, when I've seen the images of the figure, it almost reminds me of like a Kodokaiba, Kaibuk, or I forget whatever that brand is, the statue brand, Kodokaibuki or something like that. You'll know what I mean. Uh, Gaming greats. Uh, I have heard reports of these being found at Walmart as well, so they're being ga gaming crates action figures. Uh, they're not exclusive to GameStop. Or I think maybe Basil and Malik were not really considered exclusive. Um, more inconsistency among Hasbro. Knights of the Old Republic, one of my favorite video games. Basil Sean, nice image of the character. She's about 5'7 for height. It's probably about accurate. Nice image of Bastel there. Assume that's Malik on this side, and I'm not sure who that'd be over here. Description there: Brash Jedi Knight during the Jedi Civil War of the Old Republic era. Infinity of the Force presents a serious threat to Darth Malik and his Sith fleet. Figure number twenty-one. Yeah, if you aren't too familiar with the game, Bastel does have a special force ability called battle meditation and she can basically turn the tide of any battle well let's just go ahead and open this figure up hopefully the actual figure's in there it's occurred to me every now and then it's part of the reason why i don't really do unboxing sometimes is i would hate to start filming this and then ends up being a totally different figure in the inside and we're still in that transition phase where the windowless package is being phased out. Uh, so far, so good, I think. She has this mummified wrappings around her. Looks like they put some cardboard on the lightsaber there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, not too many. 
particular ways to take that out. Yeah, that's how the cardboard looks. there and looks like we have basket oh wow oh that is so neat well look at that it is really nice to have a black series basket uh, let's see here looks like her foot's kind of a uh, Wonky. Hmm. Yeah. Thankfully, the head sculpt there is spot on as well. Look at that. No blemishes or defects or droopy eyes or anything. Now, this is really impressive. For me personally, this will by default go down as one of the best action figures released in 2023. At some point, I do plan on doing a entire Kotar collection video for the channel. Uh, at this point, I have so many customs and so many of the Hasbro offerings that I think it would make for a great video. The dream at some point is to be able to get all the party members from both games in action figure form. Kind of getting there. Let's see here. This is how the lightsabers put on the cardboard. Wrapped around tape. I suppose, uh, despite the windowless packaging, they have done a good job packaging some of these accessories. Basil is unique in the fact she has a yellow bladed lightsaber. I think before her there really wasn't any. Uh, maybe in the XR Kung era there could have been. Uh, interesting end there, as you can see. It looks like the lightsaber goes on. Right there, it's supposed to. Unfortunately, the hilt is a little bent there. Hopefully, I can straighten that out a little bit. Wow. All I can say is just wow to this. It's always nice seeing some of your favorite characters get an action figure. In fact, Knights of the Old Republic's 20 years at this point. And uh, it's been... Whoops. <laughs> uh, this month, November of 2023, is actually 20 years since the computer version of the game was released. Uh, the Xbox version was released in July... And when I first got this game, it was on computer. 
nice 20 years later that we're still talking about this game and still getting content and um, action figures from it. So I think the outfit looks pretty good on her. Uh, I'll just go ahead and bring out her TVC counterpart here. They are unique to one another in their own styles. Uh, slightly different color schemes. This one has more of a uh, maroon color to her while well, this one's obviously brown but as far as the likeness to Bastila I don't think either are totally spot on um, the Black Series one does look obviously much closer to her in-game appearance than the TVC figure here and they both have their own unique style about them where or two different characters Uh, it doesn't look like on the Black Series action figure here. She has a spot where you can put, plug her lightsaber in on the belt. The TVC one here does. And that doesn't really bother me too much. It, would, it looks kind of awkward having a double-bladed lightsaber on the belt anyway. And from my understanding with the Black Series figure here, she does have... Um, reutilized parts about her at least from the waist down it's uh the elo security uses it too and i think originally it may have been uro scene that utilized that particular tooling uh, but it looks like to me everything from the waist up is totally new hard to tell if the hands or the arms in any way are reused well i have to say this is just a great action figure and I know it's going to look great on display. I can't wait to get Malik at some point. I uh, should have him before the end of the year. In fact, I'm eyeing one on eBay right now that I'm tempted to pull the trigger on. And once I get him, I'll do a more dedicated Knights of the Old Republic video featuring Bastila, Malik, Revan, Zalbar even. Uh, interesting that we got a Zalbar action figure. And I will review him at some point. As far as articulation with Bastila, it's pretty standard. I don't think it's really necessary for me to go through it. Has just about everything you could want from Black Series action figure. Hair sculpt looks really good. Uh, as you can see, she has the double ponytail back here while this one just has the one. Uh, the double, um, if I recall correctly, is more accurate. A little bit of different cut in her uh, cloths here as well. Yeah, uh, again, this is going to probably go down as one of my personal favorite action figures in my collection now. Um, already, I can tell that I've had this open for only a couple minutes now, and it's already one of my favorites. Uh, would I recommend her for your collection? If you're a fan of Bastila, totally. I think it just initial impression, I, I think she's perfect. Couldn't ask for anything more. In fact, we have... Bastila in the 6 inch line I think is a great accomplishment as is, as it is. Hopefully we get some more Kotar characters here really soon. Would be nice to get the whole party. Uh, 
Visas, Mira, Karth, Candras, HK-47 even. They already have half the parts for HK-47, so I don't see why we couldn't get one here at some point. Okay, here he is right here. I mean, we already have the arms and the legs, basically. All they have to do is just a new torso, and I don't even think they really have to do that. And a new head. One last closer look at Basila here. And they did a really nice job on that head sculpt. Got that armor here and the robes. Uh, one unique articulated point about her is around her boots there it's actually a swivel not something we see too often at least not something I've noticed on black series figures To lay a book or something on this. That concludes this review. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at Bastila here. Be sure to do some more videos here in the future featuring her. We'd like to do a lot more Knights of the Old Republic related videos on the channel since it is one of my favorite games. Uh, stay tuned for plenty more reviews in the future. There will always be lots more to come. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Always greatly appreciate your support. And check out some of the links in the description as well. As always, thanks for watching.